of tomorrow. No. Why do you want to be the leaders of tomorrow? Be the leaders of today. Anybody above the age of 18 is an adult for every practical purpose. So why would somebody be telling you when you are 25 years that you are the leader of tomorrow? The, the young people between the age of 18 and 35 are the leaders of today. Please, please, let the people of President Kagame's generation and my generation not confuse you and cheat you that you are the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> you have the energy, you have the brains, you have the creativity, you have the numbers, Please put your, get your act together and once more I ask you, take your rightful place in the decision-making table. Love it. Thank you so much. We are there is a saying which was not coined by me but by many other people uh, of uh, saying to walk the talk. What is walking the talk? Walking the talk, I think people are saying, do, or practice what you say. So, people have to make a choice. We, 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 we get to hear from people, we learn, we read books, we do all kinds of things. There is a lot of learning through that. In you as a person, you may decide, no, you make a choice. What person do you want to be? What society do you want to be part of? And you make a choice how you play part in that. You must play part in what you become. You must play part in what the environment around you becomes, even if you make a small contribution, that will be fine. But you must shape something about you, about your environment. 28 years ago, when Rwanda was at its lowest point, our country and the people dared to dream big, to give ourselves something to look forward to every day. We worked hard and worked together to overcome division, provide justice, and build prosperity. For the past two decades, this vision has become Rwanda's purpose. 
and the reason for everything that we do. I always want to thank the people of Rwanda for their understanding and embracing these principles that have taken us this far. Whatever your purpose, do not get discouraged by doubts. Begin by not doubting yourself. Try to overcome that. And ultimately, you, your family, your country, and our continent will be better off for it. Once again, I want to thank you for being with us. I wish you a successful summit and an enjoyable stay in Rwanda. And thank again those people who joined us from outside in person or virtually. We are looking forward to even more productive summit next time. Thank you for listening.